We've all heard the phrase, the stakes are too high. Well, the stakes in this election are way too high for us to wait for someone else to come along and fix the situation. The only way that evil can prevail is when good people like you fail to act. Let's fix this together. When I ran for the Senate in 2015, I pledged to not just sit on the sidelines, but to be a voice of change. My first bills that I filed were to require psychiatric testing for police officers, to mandate a reporting system for bad officers, and to provide an avenue for persons to regain their civil liberty. These bills were ignored by the Republicans. When I pledged to bring jobs to the Low Country, I brought over 1,500 new jobs to my district and a $315 million investment. We can be proud that we are becoming a regional economic force. When it comes to women's rights, I fought. On education, South Carolina's greatest investment is our children. I fought for higher wages and smaller class sizes. Friends, we're facing a pandemic on three fronts, healthcare, social injustice, and economic depression. It takes strong, decisive leaderships during these times to prevail. I spoke up early to say, listen to the medical expert. I spoke up early to say this state needs police reform now. I spoke up early to say our workers are in need of jobs. The stakes are far too high. On Tuesday, November 3rd, it's your time to step up and speak up because together we can. Let's do this.